All right, I had a, a user comment this question for me. And it's almost easier for me just to answer them if I just make a video. So to determine the equation of a line that passes through the point 4 on the x-axis and 6 on the y-axis, and then write the equation in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So that's uh, called standard form uh, in equations or a version of standard form. And so the first thing we want to talk about is is uh, what does 4 on the axis x-axis mean? Well, it actually means the point 4 comma 0. And 6 on the y-axis means 0 comma 6. Because we always write our ordered pairs where x is first, y is second. Okay, so that's the first step. And it would be a good idea then to graph that. So I'll just make a, an x and y-axis here. Uh, we'll go down here like this. And we'll, we'll go kind of low since it's... So the vertical one is the x-axis. The or Sorry, horizontal one is the x-axis. Vertical one is the y-axis. And then we can put our two points in. So, uh, you know, this is 0, 0 right here. Whoops. Hope it didn't register. There we go. So there's 0, 0. Um, so if you count 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 would be right there. And 6, 0, 6 would be up 6 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just barely enough. And that's your line. That's the line we're looking for. Don't necessarily need to graph it, but I always like to. So that's what it looks like. Now to find the equation of a line, there's two things I look for. I look for slope, and I look for the y-intercept. Every time. Every time. Well, what's nice is, once you graph it, you can get the slope and the y-intercept. Um, I'm not sure if you, know, if you don't know what slope is, definitely watch a video on slope. Y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So that is the y-intercept. So 0, 6 is the y-intercept, which is, which is kind of nice. Um, and so the next thing you need to find then, so y-intercept was easy. I liked it. You know, I found it right away. We knew what it was. Slope, you can find that a couple different ways. There's an equation for slope. Slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That's the equation to find slope. Um, it comes from vertical rise divided by horizontal run. We're going to figure out how high from point to point, how high it rises divided by how far it goes right and left. And so if you look at this, whoops, wrong way. Still wrong way. There we go. So we can go ahead and find that from the graph if we want to. And so I'll do it in red here. Yeah. So here is my vertical rise. And that is 6. And here is my vertical run. Now, you have to think of it as, in terms of going from one point to the other. So it's like driving directions. So if you start here at the top point, really we went down 6. So that's a negative 6. So if you count, and I'll make a little point, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I went down 6. And now I'm going to go from this point, I'm going to go right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a positive 4 because I went to the right. So... So the, equate, the slope of this thing is ri your rise is negative 6 and your run is 4. And that reduces to negative 3 halves. Okay. And that's finding it graphically. If you want to find it with the equation, remember we had our two points. We had 4, 0, and 0, 6. So this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. And so you just substitute those in, and you'll get the same thing. So y2, which would be 0, 
minus y1, which would be 6, over x2, which would be 4, minus x1, which is 0. And you get negative 6 over 4 minus 0 is 4, which again reduces to negative 3 halves. So that's how you could find it with the equation. So you can do use either. I, I like to show both just so you can see them both. And so now we're ready to find the equation of the line. There's a, lots of ways to do this too. But I, I teach my students to start with, um, this is called the slope-intercept form. It's called y equals mx plus b. It's not the form you need, and it's not always the easiest form to use. Intercept. Make sure I spell it right. So this is slope-intercept form. M stands for the slope. B stands for the y-intercept. Well, we have both of those things. Uh, we have a slope of negative 3 halves. So it would be y equals negative 3 halves x plus your y-intercept of 6 instead of b. And so there's your um, equation in slope-intercept form. It's not in the form you need, though. We want it in that standard form. Uh, and so what I would do here then is uh, manipulate this algebraically. I myself would. Um, but, so let me go down a little bit. And so, extend the page. So what we can do here to this thing is first off, rearrange it so it's in the order we need. So we need to move this over and we need to move this over. Well, to do that, you can add 3 halves x to both sides of the equation. We'll do that first. So we added 3 halves x. Well, minus 3 halves x plus 3 halves x is 0. So that's gone. So all we have left here now is a 6. We'll bring that down. We'll bring down the equal sign. This 3 halves x doesn't add to, it, to the y at all because they're different variables. So we're getting closer. Now we want to move that 6 to the left. Well, you can go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides of the equation. And you'd have 0. 6 minus 6 is 0. And you'd have uh, 3 halves x plus y minus 6. So you can't combine any of those. Then, um, standard form, they want no fractions. And so you're going to have to multiply that whole thing by the fr a common denominator. You want to find common denominators. The easiest way to do that is just multiply the whole equation by your common denominator, which in this case is 2. So 3 halves times 2 would be 6 halves x plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. Because I'm taking the 2 and I'm multiplying it times all three of the all four of those things. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times y is 2. 2 times 3 halves is 6 halves. Well, 6 halves reduces to 3. So 3x plus 2y minus 12 is your equation. Okay. <clears throat> and that's correct. Now, you might not like that method. So there is another method, and it's called point-slope form, generally written this way. So um, you got y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And, you know, remember you had our two points. We had 0, 6, and 4, 0, and you don't have to deal with any fractions typically with this one. Sometimes you do. And we had a slope of negative 3 halves. And you can just plug that in here. So, And pick one of your points. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, this one, the 4, 0. So it would be y minus y1 is 0. If we picked that point, the point I circled. 
you have to pick one or the other, either the 0, 6, or the 4, 0. We know the slope, so you have to find it ahead of time. It's negative 3 halves. And then it would be x minus 4, because x1 is 4. And so you'd have y minus 0 is just y. And notice, <laughs> if you distribute the 3 halves through, you'd have negative 3 halves x plus 12 halves which would be y equals negative 3 halves x plus 6, which puts you in the exact same spot we were before. So I don't know that this helped us a whole lot. But then you still have to manipulate it. Add the 3 halves x over. Subtract the 6. Multiply by a common denominator. So this one was kind of nasty in that regard. The other thing I would encourage you to do just to check your answer is also use GeoGebra. So this is a free graphing calculator, and you can just type in your two points. So I'm going to type in, oops, not in there yet. I'm going to type in uh, 0, 6. Hit enter, and I do believe it, if you look, there it is, graphed. I'll put it over here. And then your other point, 4, 0. Enter. There's that point. And then if you go in here to Tools, which is kind of cool, and you go to a line. See, all we need is a line. There it is. There's my line tool. And you just have to select two points. So we'll select A. We'll select B. And there's that line. Now, what's nice is it gives you the equation. So that's in, you know, negative 1.5 is negative 3 halves x plus 6. It gave it to us in point slope form. I'm wondering if we can change it in the settings. Style. Nope. Color. Basic. Ooh, algebra. Ah, here we go. In algebra, we'll change it to the form you wanted. Ax plus by plus c equals 0. And notice it's different than what we did have. It's 6x plus 4y uh, minus 24. So you might think, well, did I do something wrong? Well, no, you didn't. Notice all of these are multiplied. I'm, not, I'm kind of surprised that GeoGebra did this. This is not reduced. You'd actually probably get the problem wrong, depending on your teacher. But 6x plus 4y minus 24 equals 0. Uh, you can divide everything by 2. So 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. And then that now matches our equation. I'll go back to it here. Yep. So 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. We'll pull that back up. 3x plus 2y minus 12 equals 0. And so, so GeoGebra is just kind of a nice... Nice. Um, another one is called Desmos. It'll do the same thing. And so I hope this helps you. Um, good luck. God bless.